Good morning, it's day two on Chom Island. Today I woke up a little earlier than Laura, so I decided to venture out and grab some coffee right along the main walking street of Chom Island where the pier is. Uh, so now I'm, just, uh, I'm having a cup of coffee with a view of the water and the mountains. Um, coffee here comes with tea, um, usually does anywhere in Vietnam. So. You, you have your coffee and then you chase it with some green tea. Uh, after I have my coffee, I'm gonna head back to meet Laura back at the homestay while we'll breakfast and then venture out. Whoa. That is nice and strong. <laughs> it's just black coffee, no sugar, no milk. The coffee was good, but this tea is even better. We've been on Jam Island for a day now and since we arrived we've noticed that it's primarily Vietnamese tourists. You don't see too many non-Vietnamese tourists visiting the island and so it's reflected in the area. Vietnamese is the only language that is spoken here. Very few people speak English, and if they do, it's uh, just a little bit. We've had to use Google Translate pretty much the entire time we've been here, even at our homestay, uh, using, pulling out Google Translate just to communicate um, very simple things. But I think that is really cool about being here because it still retains its uh, cultural and historic charm. Not too many uh, Westerners and languages have penetrated the area and so it's really nice to be immersed in that culture for a little while. Also, there are a lot of boats here. I mean, obviously because it's surrounded by water and so fishing is a large part of the economy and the seafood here is quite cheap because it is in abundance. So far, so good. I've really enjoyed Chom Island. Now I'm gonna head back to go meet Laura so that we can grab something to eat because I'm starving. So we just got some uni that was being grilled on the street. Um, we have been seeing this around um, since yesterday and apparently you could get uni fresh um, near the island so it's very affordable. These two pieces cost 60000 um, for both of them and it has some of this special sauce that we've seen on a lot of this shellfish and also has some peanuts so this is my first time trying it and uh, I'm not can't say that it's I'm very excited for this but let's let's try it Hold on. <laughs> it's kind of oily I, I don't even know if I have any in my okay let's see uh. I don't know if I'm tasting uni or if I'm tasting the sauce but the sauce is good <laughs> Hmm. See, there's the uni bit right there. Working on a big spoonful there. First time. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, that's good. You know, just as Laura said, I'm not sure I'm tasting the uni because the sauce is very overpowering. But this is good nonetheless, you should have some if you're here. So yesterday we got a red bean and mung bean dessert and it was so good that we got four extra um, desserts to go. We saw an old lady selling these and I thought it was the same but um, it's actually a different kind. So this almost looks like jelly and it has the same filling like that bean or sugar filling and it has coconut shreds in it too. So, uh, let's try this. Mm. It's good. Our coconut provides another texture, but I still like the one from yesterday better.
So I have a bit of a headache right now. I didn't sleep too well last night, so it was a little loud. Yeah, there was karaoke until like 1 a.m. Yeah, that's because I slept with um, earplugs. So I'm a bit tired, I have a bit of a headache, and our uh, the guest house uh, son gave us this. Well, not gave it, but it's like some sort of medicinal uh, oil stuff, and you pretty much just rub it into your temples, and then you put this over it, I guess, to keep it in. <laughs> I look like I'm about to like have some sort of brain experiment done, but hey, you know, do what the locals do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. It's actually tingling. It's working. Yeah. So your brain waves are transferring. Yeah, it smells good. So we're waiting for our motor our motorbike. It's 200 for the day. Um, it's a little difficult to walk around here. We we're only able to comfortably walk to one of the beaches here, and there's seven beaches. So we kind of want to like take maximize our time here at the island so we decided to just rent a motorbike we're leaving tomorrow so we're just getting it for one day and we're gonna go around and see what the island is like got our bike we're going to venture around the island now you ready babe let's go look at laura's helmet got flowers it's a little janky <laughs> <laughs> it's like missing a piece. check out mine mine's custom custom painted like it comes with a little bug. Hey, friend. So we made it to Baichong Beach, which is about a 10 minute ride from where we are. It's a little hilly getting here. There are a few steep inclines and our bike was really struggling to get up. So I think when we get back to our homestay, we're going to try to exchange it. But the path to the beach is this way. So you got to hike down and up to go to and from the beach. It's a little steep going down. Do know that this is not uh, accessible for all unless you are coming on a speedboat. All right, we're down at the beach now. Uh, to get onto the beach, we had to pay a fee of 20,000 yen dong, which is just under a dollar per person. There's also a restroom behind us and a restaurant. There are probably like 20, 30 people uh, on this beach in total. Most of them are currently in the restaurant. I think most people take a boat here, like a small wooden boat to get here. We decided to take a motorbike and had to hike down, which is a little more adventurous. Nonetheless, we're here, we're gonna chill. So again, the, the sun and relax a little bit. It's a little warm out here, so we decided to get some cool refreshments to cool down. I got a Larue beer and Laura got a fresh coconut. It's so good. Yeah, this is perfect. reminds me of something that you can find in Mexico um, like in the Yucatan you know the sandy beaches and like the crystal blue water it's very beautiful we there's a couple of other people here just hanging out but other than that um, it's pretty desolate so it's really nice to come um, and just walk and admire some of the mountains here it's getting a little later in the day and yeah, really we, windy yeah really windy and the mist from the top of the mountain is settling in and i don't know if it's gonna rain you can see some of those clouds there yeah so we might have to head back in a little bit we're not too far we can see the pier from here and um yeah so pretty much we're just going to Maybe get a snack in town and later we're gonna have dinner at the homestay. All 
right, that concludes our mini tour of the beaches here at Cham Island. Uh, we just finished up at Bicep. Um, the difference between Bicep and the one we were at previously, uh, there's no facilities here, there's no bathrooms, no places to buy a drink, but it's still very beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, definitely worth checking out. There's, yep. It's also easier to get there because there are some steps to walk down. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. other the other beach was a little bit more difficult to get down. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we hope you enjoyed um, going to the beach with us. We're leaving Cham Island tomorrow. Later we're going to have dinner at the homestay. Um, and that's pretty much it. Go to sleep early because we have to get up early tomorrow. Yep. Please subscribe and give this video a like. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.